I suppose some of my insights and the learnings that I've got through my journey in the in the um, digital enabling space, like how do you actually make experiences for citizens or experiences for people who are serving citizens better and meaningful while balancing, um, you know, efficiency, making sure that there's no duplication, making sure that you return value back on the dollar every single time you do this. So those really are, like my area of expertise is digital and data both. So uh, for me, it was more like I'm sharing my experiences and insights from what I've learned thus far. And, you know, probably people get some help from it. And in the meantime, also learn some stuff back from people through their insights. My advice today was, was was actually about simplicity. I think majority of digital initiatives actually do not require tech to be sort of put at the forefront first. It's actually to be having customer first, uh, which means that every single digital transformation project is actually delivering digital experience to customers. And part of it comes from technology, but major part of it also comes from simplifying business processes. So. I think this, my advice generally is this, first simplify the business processes, then apply tech to it. It's, it's actually quite paradoxical to the background that I come from. So I'm actually an engineer, computer engineer of education, and also throughout my experience, I've been, a, been into tech, right? Now I'm a technology executive, and over time I've sort of been in that tech space. But my insights have always been this, it's actually the other way around. You take the customer first and work backwards and put the technology they draw out. So. I think the first thing that you really got to do is simplify and think about exactly how a customer will move from a point in their journey to their destination. Like what, if, forget about all of the rest of the backend administration, backend technologies, keep all of that aside. Very simply, if I ask my four and a half year old daughter, if you want to go to a candy store and get candy, what would she do? She'd be like, dad, I would drop up to the candy store, probably find the aisle, get that candy and come back. Like it, it's really just nutting down the customer journey first and then figuring out everything else. So for me, it's, it's really about putting yourselves in the shoes of the customer first and living that experience through various means um, and having empathy about that and then bringing that back to life through technology. What I've noticed is that we've all got some common challenges and also motivations. The common challenges are um, how do we actually better collaborate? How do we come together? Uh, because I think within all of us as a collective, there's plenty of knowledge. So I don't think there's a gap of knowledge. I think it's more about collaboration. So perhaps the challenge is collaboration and also the opportunity and motivation is to bridge that gap. So I think uh, if, if I were to sum everything up in a, in a, single, in a single word, it'd be collaboration. think it's our culture. I would say it's the it's it's the state of Victoria's culture to, um, you see, I think we've got a rich history. We've always been known as the cultural capital of the country. And I think that disseminates into the way the products and the services are made and also the unwavering sort of spirit of customers to not relent and give into poor experiences. So you'll always have people that would push the service providers to give them the best and not settle for anything less. I think that's what drives the culture of innovation. You need a very, very, very mature customer to drive innovation as much as you need a mature provider. Well, I think what I've noticed in my interactions with you guys, you know, just you know, through through these conferences, etc., is that you bring the you bring the right people in into these rooms and and, and, and facilitate uh, a great conversation organically. Like for example, I entered today to, to, for my particular talk, and I was entering and actually saw a bunch of my colleagues and all of the all of the colleagues in the right spaces, communications, technology, CX, etc. They were all in the room. So for me, I think just you guys provide a good forum. By bringing everybody together, that's that's what I would say. Um, sort of PSN uh, PSN's advantages.